<laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm here with Switch Suspension. We're up at a car show this weekend. This is my 1970 Chevy Nova. It's lipstick red. I just got some new wheels for it, some US mags that are, we got 20s all the way around. So in the trunk, the air management system, we have uh, Vire compressors and seamless tanks. So for Christmas last year, I got a badass new steering wheel. It's kind of smaller for some guys, but since it's a girl, it's my car and I get to drive it. I love the steering wheel. I love the finish of it, it looks super clean. So we installed the GM seat belts all the way around. We have the two in the front and some in the back as well. They're really easy to work with. They're nice, they're smooth. They're just kind of there. You don't even notice them. They're not bulky. They don't have any big buckles or they're not clunky or anything. Sometimes. Hi, I'm James Campbell, and this is my 1964 Chevrolet Suburban. Uh, it's currently named the Riddler. Um, it's had many names over the years. My grandfather actually purchased this truck brand new in 1964. So I've been riding in it my whole life. So if a kid has a security blanket or a favorite toy, this is kind of my, this, is, this would be my security blanket. Um, I received the truck as my own in 1992 and I've had it driving it ever since um, it's had many forms over the years um, started out you know just learning how to paint on it and everything and I've learned most of the skills that I use on a day-to-day -day basis working on this particular ride my grandfather's name for it was Charlie it then later became one low 64 it's changed from my grandfather called it Charlie I believe as a boy but we kind of now believe maybe Charlie is a girl because she's uh she's a little wily oh no I've seen it I saw it last year at some shows I follow them on Instagram I absolutely love this vehicle love it this truck was completely destroyed yes. in 1998 it rolled over on a trailer and uh, we just chose to bring it back. This is the first time I've seen it redone. And it's gorgeous. I love it. It's an animal. Yeah. Like I said, I, I've decided that when my grandfather named it Charlie, he, he always thought it was a boy, but it's a girl because she steals your heart. Yeah, she does. So the one thing I got to add to this build and, and switch and everything else is just I really couldn't do this without the support of my wife and my family and friends. Um, my wife and my son, I mean, they put up with a lot, man, and I, I really appreciate everything they do and, and the family before that provided the vehicles and, like I said, Switch, they've always got my back. That's my family. So I just want to say thank to everybody that helps with this ride. Thank you guys. 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 Th
Imagine if you're Yeah. Oh, look at this. There we go. Man. We're just cruising along, taking this thing for a test drive. Oh, the hood's coming up. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Ah, we're going to crash. All Man. right. The streets of Phoenix are terrible. <laughs> yes, they are. Good thing we're back here at the shop now. Back Safe here, working on Joey's 73 crew cab, huh? Yeah, it doesn't look anything like the picture that Joey posted the other day. But, but it will. But it will. So let's see, what are we doing to this? We got a... I think we're building it. Yeah. Like, I think we have to finish it this time. Yeah, we already got the full full custom chassis. So we just got to, I think, finish weld on it, plumb all the brake lines, plumb all the fuel lines, mock up the motor and trans, exhaust. Get a motor and trans. And then uh, blow it all apart, take it to body, or take the body to body shop and frame the powder coating. So basically what we're doing is installing two of the ActiWare tanks on this. One's going to be an Endo VT43 and the other one's just going to be a T3. And we'll uh, tee them together so that we have six gallons of air but one, uh, one tank on each side of the frame. So it's going to look pretty cool. And then we'll have our Viair compressors mounted to each tank also. Two of the Viair 485s is what's going to be running this system. Yeah, right now I'm just drawing up some custom mounts going to be running them on the plasma table. Uh, yeah, just really excited to get going on this, so let's go. Joey's crew cap for Pepe Le Crew. So it had a bed, it came with a bed, but it was all shaved out. It really wasn't what going, you know, the look we were going for. It like, had no, you know, had a roll pad, tailgate combo. It just really wasn't what we were into. So what uh, Tom does is Tom does C10 recycling here in town. King Square bodies. And uh, he brought us some original sheet metal so that we have some good stuff to start with. Oh yeah. Well, I, honestly, dude, I'd still rather start with this sheet metal than the fucking aftermarket stuff. Hey, what's up? Joey Gonzalez here over at Switch Suspension. Came to pick up the Burb today. What up? Guys over here killed it. Did a great job. Yeah. Above and beyond what I asked for. Good see you. Finished out their rear floor. Let's check it out, dude. Which uh, we had left exposed for SEMA to display the chassis. Uh, finished out the exhaust. I'm a, I'm a little like concerned about the seat height. Cause like that Snowden foam puts you up pretty high, man. Tuned it. I mean, just dialed it in, put a front sway bar. Just all the little stuff that needed to be done to make it roadworthy and uh, ship off to the new owner. So Chuck will be heading out to New Orleans, uh, getting some down south uh, weather. <laughs> so uh, look for it out there on a different coast. And uh, we're on to the next one. Next build of Switch and team. <laughs> So yeah, uh, chopping block chassis shipped last week. Yep. Um, we'll have that hopefully in any day now. And then if I could just get rid of this truck completely, everything, I don't need any of it. 
I don't want any of it. So what style? Uh, big wheels, small wheels? Yeah, I don't know. Because he he's kind of a small wheel guy. Yeah, he's, he likes this kind of style. I'm going to try and get him into like some 22s or something. I don't know. Maybe 20s. Keeping it a step side? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he likes the step. I assume he likes the step side. I haven't shown him one with a 58 bed on it, but mm. I, if I was to build one, yeah. and if he says, hey, Seth, build it the way you want, then yes, I'll look for it. Because you can get bed. those. Well, you can get those now. Re yeah, they're repop. Yeah. And that, to me, is like the shit. But I like the 57 hood. Like, I like these trucks. I just don't know a lot about them. Yeah. So I keep seeing things and figuring out why I like this one over that one. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't realize that those little rails were 57 only. Yeah. And then and the grills changed. Like, this, I think this is the 56 grill, he said, right? Yeah, see, 55, like, 6 were the same, and then 7's different. So. See, like, I like this grill better than the 7 grill. Yep, me too. You know? And, and yeah. like, these trucks, you can interchange all this stuff, which, mm -hmm. which is bitching. So, cool. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the fender badges are different, stuff like that. Oh, but, okay. But subtle. Yeah. That's cool, dude. Yeah, I don't know a lot about them, but I'm going to figure them out, dude. I dig them. I love how the grill and the dash is like the car. Because yeah. I like the car. I just can't afford the car. I can't wait to so. see <laughs> what you do with a good budget and a fresh yeah. slate. So, yeah, we got another build coming up. 57 Chevy truck for the guys at Dixon Flannel okay. Company. He uses that at every show. He's been through every show with me, so it's like keeping he know, it. He knows how much we've done in sales based, based on, on how bag bulk. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's been two houses through this bag. <laughs> Justin and Danny came by the other day, dropped off some cash for the truck. Oh, yeah. We located him a clean, clean big back window cab, actually a full truck, a build a guy kind of just lost interest in. It's a, hey, dude, it's, it's a, a big, big build, dude. Thing. It's a big fucking build, <laughs> yeah. dude. There's and no it's joke. like, and if you don't do it right, and, and it fully looks like, I mean, you had to go $100,000 in tension into something. And oh, it yeah. It turn out right. Like, it's, you, you own it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of well, like and that, embracing the imperfections that sure. are there and you're yeah. like, whatever, you know? No, no, no. Uh, we're looking at full chopping block chassis on that truck, LT4 motor, eight speed tranny. We're gonna do some bear brace, wanna work with some local guys, represent his success, and kind of show off uh, our abilities. That's so dope, dude, we should do, you guys wanna do a um, Continental for me next and throw one of these in it? Who's is this? My buddy Mike. Mike. Oh, okay. Who's that dude I was telling you about? Yeah, you yeah, gotta hear you talking about. I really got along with him. Yeah, whenever Justin's like, I like that guy a lot, and I'm like, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be another Justin. What the fuck am I gonna do with that? Why? So that we can reveal your truck We're gonna yeah. do a big, big reveal. Why don't you go reveal yourself into a fing uh, barber? Yeah, alright. <laughs> dude, you sound like driving. Holy shit, dude. Those are almost too nice, dude, huh? Yeah, you're not gonna have You gotta paint this truck, truck, dude. Hey, I mean, Raceline, I really appreciate the wheels. You did a really good job, but we did pay for them, so I'm not thanking you for them. <laughs> Holy shit. I would, yeah, you get that all ready for some go fast juice? Giggle gas? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I remember one of the first high school parties I uh, ever went to was at this kid, Eric Clevin, and his dad was a second unit director, and he lived in the guest house, and they had a bottle of uh, nitrous back there, and everybody was there, and I, was, I wasn't one of those kids that did any of that shit yet. <laughs> but everybody was yeah. hitting off of balloons and stuff. It was so funny watching. They looked like just, they looked stupid. Yeah. Hey, you, I was worried that you weren't gonna be able to see the bear brakes behind oh, dude. there, man. No, they're way out there, dude. Funny thing is, is that they look so big with no wheels on it. You put wheels on yeah, it all of a sudden. Yeah, now they're just like disappeared, but. Even the blue looks cool. I was worried about the blue and the green. And you need to paint the truck blue. Well, hey, Num Nuts, if he ever gets the truck, can paint it blue. I love I hope this. It doesn't sit crooked like it was out in the outside. Well, if I was you, I would go to Air Ride, like on my wife's Nova that tucks really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can just air up, take my wheels off, put my wheels on. I don't have to unbolt anything. Oh, really? You, we did a kick-ass job moving that front end forward. Oh, is it? Uh, oh, dude. Hey, you don't know how long this has been. I guess you kind of probably do. I don't know. How, how long did it take you to do your truck? No, but how long did it take? 
Oh, you mean bad asses I did? Yeah, <laughs> but you also did all of it yourself too, right? Yeah. What do you I kind of cheated years. the last two half. Years. You want to go up? Yeah. It was two Holy or three years. shit, man. When did you get the fucking race jet? Moss? You need to put some fucking flames on there. Hey, this is a Harbor Freight Daytona, oh, dog. Oh, you're right. It's perfect. Damn. It is. Let's roll it. Oh, you'll hey, see it. You think, and you measured the, so those wheels could turn in there? Yeah, you can steer right now. Half the tank is hanging down. But dude, I was if we excited, take- I was kind of excited, dude. I could have driven that thing to California. Hey, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? Just taper it up. Yep. We should just take that tank and have it cut and fucking taper back and we'd be done. And maybe move the filler neck over. I did, or I also ordered your AC. You did? Oh. We gotta go inside and decide on what controls and what vents we want. Watch, watch. Oh, okay. So is this the front or is it only back know. in the back? I don't know what this one is for. Let's check. I don't know what that was. So only the bag is back? Yeah, but it's but they're they're not they're momentary. And the compressor is throw. there you go. What you got here, Tom? What's up, Robbie? Ooh, some Detroit steel wheels. Well, let me tell you. It's actually a company that most people are probably still uh, still familiar with. Uh, they used to have a show on, um, I think it was NBC Sports or something like that. It's actually a company called Mob Steel. Are they, are they Mob Steels or are they Detroit Steels? Do we know? Detroit Steel, Mob Steel was like. A, yeah, it's like a part of them, but. Yeah, like their TV show or whatever it was. Yeah. Detroit Steel Wheel Company. That uh, was real popular for the uh, the lower Lincolns, like the 61 to 67, 66, somewhere, somewhere around that uh, era where they, uh, they sold bag components for it. Sounds to me that they aren't really selling that stuff anymore because these wheels have really just taken off for them. Uh, coolest thing about these wheels is it's, it's kind of an affordable custom built wheel for just about any af application. So instead of paying for you know an aluminum wheel or like a billet wheel that they would have to custom machine, get you a custom offset for, these ones are a little bit more affordable uh, because they're made out of steel. They have a cut, they don't have as many as designs, but you can get custom like artillery cuts in these things, slots. Um, they'll actually weld uh, different clips on here. So if you wanted to use a different cap, you can pull in like that old dog dish from like the early Chevys. Uh, so once we torque the wheels down and get that nice looking little cap on it. Uh, these wheels are going on a, a Buick Electra 63. Uh, that he's got bagged and the only thing that he really wanted was something that looked cool, something that looked old, that gave him that big hoop. Uh, it's a really cool wheel, man, and it's going to be a really cool car. Hopefully we get to bag the rear of it for him, um, you know, like he was looking at. So I'll have that car in here just uh, in a couple of days. So it's got a set of Detroit steel wheels that we just got for it. Going to install those and get him back on the ground, check out a couple things in the back of it, give him an idea. He has a few things he wants to fix up. So give him an idea what that's gonna cost and get it back to him. 